Okay. Um, my name's Tom Morgan, and um, the one of the questions you wanted to know was how long I've been playing. Uh, it's kind of a story. The I've been play. I started in junior high school, which would be middle school now, and I started in the seventh grade, and I played till. Uh, the end of high school and a year after high school. Okay, and what did you play? I played uh, trombone. Okay, and what school did you go to? I went to uh, Lincoln Junior High School where I started and played in Stonewall Jackson's high school band. And then uh, after my, uh, a year after my senior year, I laid my horn down because there was nowhere to play. Uh, 20 years later, in 92, when this band started, that's when the Metro Band uh, was at the beginning, mm -hmm. and that's when uh, Mickey Dietz called me and said that they were starting an alumni band and uh, for Stonewall and Charleston mm -hmm. combined. And that's when I picked my horn up and started playing again, and I've been in this band ever since. So did you come from a musical family? My brother is, was really the musician of the family. Uh, I, we played piano together and accordion together. Uh, my mother was really the instrumental part of, she was the pusher to get us to play. <laughs> she wanted you to. She wanted us to play. And we did, so I, I've stuck to it, but now since then, uh, well, after, uh, somewhere after the Metro band started is when I started playing the bass trombone because the gospel brass that I play in also needed a bass trombone player. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's your best musical memory? Now, that's going to be a story. <laughs> We're here for my, it. my first and worst, my first, my first, um, story that I could tell was uh, was not a real good memory. Uh, that's when I was a uh, sophomore in Stonewall Jackson's high school band. And the drum major, who was a senior, didn't like me at all, and I did not like him at all. What was his name? Uh, maybe I better not say. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... This was one night at a football game, and I don't remember who was playing, but uh, when they lined us up, of course, the trombones were always first, and we were kind of near a great big mud puddle that was at Laidley Field, and he was screaming at everybody to line up. And well, I wasn't gonna get in the mud puddle. Well, he came by, and we had, uh, of course, our uniforms were uh, scarlet and gray. My shoes were white. My hat was white. And he came by and knocked my, my hat down over my face. I couldn't see, and then he shoved me in the mud puddle. Bent my horn. And that was a pretty big expense to my mother and dad because I had to get my horn repaired. I had to get all my uniform cleaned, cleaned and, and, and uh, dry cleaned and everything. And that's when, uh, uh, that's when I almost quit the band. I almost quit playing, but I figured that he was a senior and he was, wasn't too awful long, he wasn't going to be there. Mm -hmm. And my buddy, uh, who was a trombone player also, was a good friend of mine. He took over uh, my, our junior year. He took over the drum major. So anyway, that was my, That's your worst. That was my memory of the first and worst <laughs> <laughs> memory that I had. Now, my best okay. memory that yeah. I had... Uh -huh was a year after, well, my, my senior year and my, uh, a year afterwards, I played in a soul band. I was the only one white. <laughs> and 
you learn how to dance and because you're a spectacle when you're the only one there yeah. <laughs> that's why and, you and we, yeah you might have to be better than everybody else too <laughs> <laughs> well no we had um we it was it was very interesting we played all over the tri-state we had a booking agent and we were called the sensational showman wow and we had uh we had business cards. You got said, paid for this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That uh, said the sensational showman, smiling, styling, and profiling. <laughs> 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 so we, we, that was really enjo enjoyable time. We traveled mm -hmm. all over, like I say, all over the tri-state. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Did you have a band or? Yeah. Yeah. There were seven of us. Wow. The, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. We had, uh, there was uh, two saxes and myself, trombone, and uh, a trumpet player. But a year after I graduated, we still continued to play. Matter of fact, I didn't even go to my graduation because we were booked for in to play in Ohio for that night. So I didn't go to my graduation. Um, but uh, the band finally, we as good as we were, we were really good. Mm -hmm. uh, but it kind of dissolved. One fella got married, and one went in the service. And um, but that lasted for a year, even after I graduated. Wow. And then you put your horn down for twenty years and don't pick it up until the Metro band started. Right. We're so all grateful was... to the Metro Band, aren't we? <laughs> yes, I am, because, yeah. you know, you start playing again. Yeah, and it's fun. Yeah. So tell me what challenges did you have in your life to overcome to keep playing in this band? Well, other than being shoved in the mud hole and, <laughs> and my uniform and horn being bent, uh, trying, to, trying to balance, well, when you work, it's a lot different. And yeah. I had two children. Mm -hmm. Uh, my son was big in Boy Scouts. My daughter was a cheerleader, and we were going two separate ways all the time. And and uh, so balancing work and keeping them happy and and their life fulfilled and family life and working a lot of I had a job. I worked for the gas company, and we were on call a lot. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of stay loose. And be adjustable. Yeah. So that was my biggest challenge, and uh, picking your horn back up to play again after 20, yeah. <laughs> after twenty five years. Yeah. <laughs> it takes some bravery to walk in the door. Yeah, it really does. It does. So tell me, what advice would you give to a young musician just starting out? Well, I would say uh, the first thing is pick an instrument that you really enjoy playing. Uh, if you can find one that uh, really interests you. And secondly, I would, uh, if at all, if your family or whatever can afford it, I would get some private lessons with that instrument and learn all the theory that you can learn because that is your timing, your, your sight reading, and, and the whole nine yards which I wasn't that good at because I didn't have uh, I didn't have private lessons, um, and then practice, practice, practice. <laughs> I agree. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.